10. Um, thank you all. First of all, I always got to tell you guys thank you so much for staying with me and joining me and giving me thumbs up and watching me on Sundays with my Sunday dinner whenever I get a chance to do it. I do appreciate you all. I really, really do. Well, I am working from home right now because of the coronavirus. coronavirus. So this is after work. <laughs> and I need to make some food. And you know, we can't go out too much because of the coronavirus. So I have, I bought some meat, I bought some chopped meat, and I had this in the refrigerator, I need to make it. So I don't usually cook during the week, because this is still a work day for me, but I don't usually cook during the week, and I need to make this anyway. Since I'm home early, because I never really left the house, I'm going to make this. And I told you guys I'm going to make some uh, meatballs, the way I made them on one of my um, Sunday videos. So, I'm going to show you guys now how I'm making the, 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 the meatballs. So, in this, in this, um, so in my bowl is about three pounds of chopped meat that I got from Costco like last week. I need to cook it. So, it's in here. And what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to give you the recipe. I'm going to give you the recipe um, on the, at the bottom in the description box when, I, when, I, when this goes out. But I just wanted to let you know. This is three pounds, and when I give you a recipe, it's gonna be for two pounds. But this happens to be three pounds, and I wanna work with it like that. So, with the three pounds in the bowl, then I'm gonna put in um, a cup and a half of some breadcrumbs. And, I, and most of this stuff you guys should have in your pantry, so you shouldn't even be worried. You should have that really in your pantry. So I'm gonna put a cup, Guess I'm gonna have to buy some, some more of this because I've been using it. I've been cooking at home. Yeah. Wow. That's a cup and it's all in here. So now I gotta see if I got a half a cup. Hold on. Of some kind of breadcrumb, which I probably do. When I tell you guys we're using stuff in our pantry, we are using stuff in the pantry. Cause I wouldn't be cooking this much, <laughs> but I gotta cook. So anyway, I need a cup, cup and a half. Well, I'm gonna eyeball it for a half. Okay, that's a cup and a half. That's three pounds. So you have to figure about um well, since with a cup, a cup for two pounds. So you figure a half a cup for um per pound. So that is a cup and a half. And wow, I can't believe I used that. All right then, so it's on my list now. Um, and I'm gonna put in three eggs because I got three pounds of I have three pounds of chopped meat, so I'm gonna put three eggs in. Yeah. One. One egg. Two eggs. And three eggs. There we go. Three eggs. And that's what I got going on here. Three eggs and I need a cup of Parmesan cheese. So, here's the Parmesan. And I am putting a cup in here. So put half a cup for two. I'm gonna put a whole cup in here, what the heck? because I like Parmesan. So we'll put a whole cup in here. Yeah, We're gonna have, it's gonna be plenty cheesy. There's this cup. Now I'm gonna put in some onions. I'll put some onions in here. Hold on. So I chopped up an onion, of course, in my in my wonderful Cuisinart. And I'll be doing this all the time if I have to cook up every day. I'm not going to have to make my life easier. So that's a cup of onions. And I'm going to put some garlic in here. Here's the garlic, already minced. I ain't trying to mince nothing. 
you're trying to get this done. So when you're in a hurry, you're trying to get stuff done, this would be the best way. So I'm putting some, some um, garlic in here also. And, excuse me. Okay. I'm going to put some, now I'm going to put some seasoning in here. So I'm going to put a little thyme because this is ground beef. Put some thyme in here. And I'm going to put some Italian seasoning in here. Yeah. And oh, come on. Gonna put some garlic in. Ground garlic also. Take it in there. Yeah. And I'm gonna put in some onion powder. And I'm gonna put in some garlic and parsley, just a little. And I'm gonna put in some basil. As I said, I'll let you know exactly how much is how much. And now everything is in. Now you gotta get your hands dirty. I know coronavirus and all that, but I'm using my hands to cook. And I'm gonna wash my hands first, although I wash my hands, but I'm gonna wash my hands again. That's that. Now, I am getting ready to get my hands messy. This is cold, but you gotta mix it up. So I'm mixing it now. Gotta put everything in it, mix it up. Get it together because it is um it is choppy like a meatloaf. I also got some um other I got some other things um some other another um can of like this meatloaf mix thing I saw in um Walmart and I may make that one day uh but not today because these meatballs here will last us um a few days. Definitely. It lasts several days. So I'm gonna make a meatball hero after this when it finally gets done. And then after that, you got, you know, everybody can have a meatball hero or spaghetti and meatball or spaghetti squash, meatball, whatever, however way they want it. But I'm just making meatballs for the time being. And all those meatballs I made the other day are all gone. All of it, all of them, <laughs> they're gone. So we ate them because they was really good. So I figured that's why I make another batch and I show you guys how I'm doing it. So that is the extent of what I'm doing today. So I hope you guys are having a good week. You know, those of us who, ha who can work at home and are working at home, uh, it's been an adventure. <laughs> it's been an adventure because the computer is really important to um, business and most of the time, at least in, in my in, in my job, the computer is central and meaning it's basically on, on, long, on location. So now we have to figure out how to use our own home stuff that we may have to get our work done. And that's been an, uh, an adventure. It really, it's really been an adventure. But I think after, after it's all done, it's gonna be a true learning experience for all of us. Um, to, you know, to be able to work at home and be efficient and effective. So I really think it's going to end up in a nice way that we can actually perform at home and we save us all on transportation and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's where I'm at. See, I just blended it together pretty much, pretty good. And that is that. Now, once again, I'm washing my hands. I'm gonna move this out the way and I'm gonna move over there so where my air fryer racks are because this is going in the air fryer just like it did before. So I'm gonna wash it up a little bit. I'm using my uh, um, ice cream scoop and put it in my hand and rolling it up. I'm not gonna show you every piece of that because it's very boring. But this is the size, that's the size. So I'm gonna do maybe three of them so you guys can see how it's done. And then you'll be back when I'm when I've done it. So you want to just 
scoop it out and put it on. Or you can scoop them out like that, like this, and just scoop it. And come back and roll them up. And which might be what I what I may end up doing. You want to just scoop it like that, like ice cream. Scoop it. And then come back and roll them up. So we'll be back. I'll show you when when I get them all on. You'll, you'll see the whole, you'll see what they look like before they go into the air fryer. Okay? I'll be back. Okay guys, I have done all of these. I don't know how many meatballs I really have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, here in the air fryer, I'm going to put the first one on the highest, okay? And then there's some space in between, so I'm going to put the next one right under it with a little space. So they all got space to be, make sure you good and right about there. All right, now, this will go on for, uh, let me turn it on first. I'm going to put it on 400 and we are going to go for 30 minutes, okay? That's it. It's gonna cook for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna show you what I do with it after that, which is I put it in my pressure cooker afterwards. So it can finish cooking in five minutes and put some sauce on it and it will seem like we've been cooking all day, which we have not, because I can't do that, I have no time. All right, <laughs> well I'll see you in a few minutes right, when guys. this is over. This was on for 30 minutes. And I went in the back in my office and I was doing some more work. So I'm back out here to show you guys what it looks like in, our, in my next step. So we can have some dinner. Okay. I'll tell you. Look at here. That's what it looks like. And remember, I'm putting this under pressure so it doesn't have to be crazy done. You know, although I, might, I have to say, now that I'm looking at it, that I think I'm going to... Bring these two because you see, you see how that looks. I want to bring it up and put it in for another five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the top on for another five minutes because you see how it looks and the other ones are brown. So I'm going to put them up here, up to the top, and then go. Put it back on pressure. Put it on 400, and and I'll do it for another 10 minutes. Okay, you do, you do have to rotate it, and I did not rotate it. But meanwhile, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this in my pot, so they'll be ready. So, I did spray these. I'm putting my hand right in and taking it right off. Comes right off. They're all sprayed. Okay, put it in like that. That's my container. We're having a little technical difficulties today because we just are. And I'll put them here, put them there. Come off really nice. And as I as I said, you know they're gonna be done because they're going under pressure. We're gonna put it under pressure about five minutes. So they'll be cooked in five minutes regardless. I could have actually let done with those other ones go, but I want to get a little brown on them. So that's why I'm putting it back in. I want my brown. So you just put them in, you know? Stick them in. And I'll be back after the other one comes out and I'll put it in already and then you guys will see that I put the sauce on and what I do with it next okay be back all right 
They're all in the pot right here. And now I'm going to put in, we like sauce. So maybe y'all don't like so much sauce, but I'm putting three jars of sauce in. And as I said, this is a good, this is a very good brand, low sugar. But they don't really have too many in the store right now. <laughs> I can't find them. But these are, this is a really, really good brand. So I'm going through my stock. I'm going to my pantry. I'm putting what I got in here. So there's another, and I use this sometime. This is the uh, the uh, Pathmark brand, and it's pretty good. And then there's also the Prego. I like Prego, and the other one too. I got the other one name right now, but the other one, I like them. So, you know, you put the sauce in, and the sauce is thick. So you really, really, really need to add a little bit of water, just you know, just so that the, the pot will come up to pressure. So I'm going to add a little water in here. Not much. All right, so I added a half a jar. And then, as my mother would say, and get the good out of it. That's what mama always said. Get the good out of it. So I'm going to swish it, swish it around and get the good out. That's what mom says. Get all the good out. We, we don't have nothing to waste. So put it in and get all the good out. So that's what I'm doing. Rinsing the bowl, rinsing the um, jar out, in essence. And put them in. And that's all we need. Now, my pressure cooker is over there. So I'm going to bring it to the pressure cooker. I'm putting the top on seal. See right that? That's the seal up in here. If you guys can see that. That's the seal. So I'm gonna put it on. This is not this is not the uh, the other pot. They have to line up over there. It makes that little noise. There we go. That's my this is my one of my favorite. This is probably my favorite pot. Um put it on manual and we're gonna put it on for um, really only five minutes. I don't need it on that long. Five minutes. It will come on by itself. In five minutes, we can eat. Now, it's not going to be five minutes because it takes a good five minutes to come to pressure. Then it takes another whatever. It goes to pressure. So it's going to be maybe 15 minutes more and then we can have dinner. Yes, because I'm hungry. All right, I see you. So I had it in, I had this in uh, this pot for five minutes and I let it come to pressure and I let the pressure out and here we go. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to show you is what they look like. Now here we got, I got some, some bread, some hoagie rolls and I put it in the, uh, in the pressure cooker so that it got nice and crunchy on the top. A little, a little crunch, a little brown. Now I'm going to take a couple of these out, maybe more than a couple, put a, maybe three on here, actually, I don't know if I can get three on here, but maybe two, maybe two and a half, we'll see, it's a nice meatball hero, okay, on this meatball hero, I am going to put a little Parmesan cheese on here, the uh, shave kind, it'll melt, should melt right away because this is hot. And I'm also going to put some mozzarella on here. Really. And actually, what I'm, I'm going to really do, because I don't want to, I like the plate, I'm going to stick it in the microwave for a sec. Just so it melts. It's going in. It's already got 19 seconds on it, so I don't need that long. I just want it to melt. Bring it down. Let's see, 10, 
about 20 seconds in, in there, 19 seconds to be to be truthful. And we got a meatball here. How's that? Looks lovely to me. I think we're gonna have something to eat. I need to take a picture of it. I gotta find my phone, but I need to take a picture of it. But that's dinner. So I'm gonna have to eat. Everybody, everybody, I wanna say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I will put the, um, the recipe at the bottom in the description box. Please give me some thumbs up. Please keep watching me. Please keep being here. And I truly adore you guys. Thank you. And be safe. Okay? Bye-bye.